Hiya, um, I'm going to show you how to cook a vegan chasseur. So first of all, I'll show you the ingredients. So you need some carrots. I've got chopped carrots. So it saves me having to chop them. Lazy, I know, but you know, it's easy. Then um, some bell peppers. Adds a bit of colour to the uh, chasseur. Then some mushrooms. Again, again, they're chopped, which makes it nice and easy. Some spinach and some vegetarian butcher chicken breast this is all vegan so there's no animal cruelty and it will taste delicious um, some chicken chasseur mixes two of those and some chickpeas that's all the ingredients you need so uh, first of all what I do is I start putting some of the food into the dish. So I start off with the uh, mushrooms. So uh, I think um, that'd be enough mushrooms, I think. Might as well have all of them. All right. And the carrots. I won't need to add all these carrots. That's enough carrots. Right, next I'm going to chop up the bell peppers. As I've said before, these will have a little bit of colour. So I'll just get them out of there. I love the taste of bell peppers. They really do have a lovely taste. And the yellow bell pepper next, just to add some lovely colour to it. with the knife obviously I'm going to add three bell peppers as I said before, I just love the taste of them. Right, uh, next I'm going to boil some water, turn this on. Right, the water's now boiled, so pour this water in here. Let's put the um, sasha powder in there. I'm going to use two of them because I love I love it to be really really flavorful so I'm actually going to use two of them you could get away with using one but as I say I love it to be really flavorful so I'll add the other one
smells absolutely fantastic. I've decided I'm not going to add the chickpeas because as you can see, it's quite full, the bowl. So I'm not going to add the chickpeas. Although it can be good to add chickpeas as a vegan because it can give you lots of protein. Although I haven't said that, you get protein in, in, the, um, in this as well anyway. Stir this for a while because it's a bit lumpy. Really do have to stir it for quite a while. Right, I stirred this for quite a few minutes. It's still not 100% um, dissolved. Right, put that in the oven for um, about half an hour. for about 20 minutes then I'm going to add the spinach and what I forgot to say is I'm going to add some tomatoes as well so I'm going to leave that to cook for 20 minutes right next I'm going to cook for about five minutes the vegetarian butcher vegan chicken what I do is I put some oil in the saucepan Turn the saucepan on. To my mind, this is the best, the best um, chicken vegan substitute. A bit more oil. and cook those for five minutes. Next, I'm going to chop the tomatoes up. I'm now going to add the tomatoes and the spinach to the um, casserole. Tomatoes. 
not going to actually finish. Just give it a little bit of colour. Give it a little stir. Give it a little quick taste test. Superb. Now I'm going to put it back in the oven. Well, what I do is I now turn over the vegetarian butcher chicken. Right, I've been cooking it for about an hour now. I'm just going to take it out and make sure it's, uh, all the vegetables are not hard and that they're cooked. You have to be very, very careful doing this because it's very hot. Just make sure the carrots are cooked through. Just grab a carrot. I'll try it. Um. I think it's okay. Let me try a little bit of um, pepper. Yeah, um, I think I'll cook it for another 10 minutes. Well, I've now cooked it for one hour, 25 minutes. So just take it out. Got to be very careful because it's very hot. As you can see, it's piping hot. Just uh, what I do. So I cooked this till it was just slightly browned. Stir first. Now the moment of truth, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try mushroom. Mm. That's really lovely. Let's try a bit of this. Superb. 
And that's how you cook a vegan shashur.